the discovery of radioactivity in certain newly discovered elements of matter, notably in the case of radium, has led science to investigate the matter of the possible radioactivity of other substances. The result is most surprising, for advanced science now announces that every substance is radioactive, that is, every substance is constantly radiating energy of force from itself. This discovery serves to harmonize the previously separated facts regarding thought transference, etc., and it is now accepted as a fact that the human brain is strongly radioactive, and is constantly sending forth streams of radio energy. The same laws, which govern the radium, are now perceived to govern the brain action. This simplifies the matter, and brings the subject of thought transference into the general field of science, and out of the realms of mysticism. The subject is now taught and studied, on a scientific basis, in the principal universities of the world, and new discoveries are constantly being made regarding it. The physical pole of personal magnetism is not to be found in the flesh, blood, or bones of the body, for these are but the crude machinery by which the higher parts of the human organism moves and acts. Instead, it is to be found in that most wonderful part, or parts, of the organism, known as the nervous system. This nervous system is just as wonderful in its ways as the brain, and its effects in personal magnetism are just as important. We are so apt to think of the nerves as being a part of the body, of the person, that it is somewhat difficult for us to get the idea that the nervous system is really as much a part of the mental system as is the brain. In fact, the nervous system is composed of almost exactly the same kind of matter, as is the brain. The nervous system, moreover, generates energy of a kind very similar to that generated by the brain. For that matter, advanced science really considers that the brain and nervous system are but parts of one and the same thing, governed by the same general laws, and to be considered in connection with each other. And, the student of personal magnetism soon comes to accept this view, when he sees the important part played by the great nerve centers in the work of personal magnetism. Therefore, although I call the magnetism of the nervous system by the term, physical, and that of the brain by the term, mental, I do so merely in order to make an easy line of distinction for the purpose of teaching and study. At the last, however, they are really but parts of one and the same thing, merely two poles of the same source of energy. The nervous system of the human being is really a most intricate mechanism. Its main feature is the spinal cord which runs along an opening in the spinal column or backbone, and which is directly connected with the brain matter in the skull. From the spinal cord emerge many sets of nerves, in pairs, which branch out in smaller filament, these in turn branching out into still smaller, and so on, until each and every part of the body is supplied with a direct connection with the main nerve trunk. Other great cables of nerves descend into the trunk of the body, apart from the spinal cord system, although connected with the latter by nerve links. In different parts of the body are to be found great masses of nerve substance, being matted knots or tangles of nerves, these centers being called plexus or plexuses, the principal one being the solar plexus, which is situated right back of the pit of the stomach, and which plays a very important part in the life of the person, so important, indeed, that a severe blow struck directly over it may cause the death of the person. The nervous system not only conveys messages from the different parts of the body to the brain, but also serves to convey the energy of motion to the various parts. In short, there can be no motion of any part of the body unless the impulse comes over the nerves. When the nerves governing any part of the body are paralyzed, that part of the body becomes devoid of motion. So you see, the nervous system is a part of the great energy producing system of the body, as much a part of it as is the brain. Remember this, always, for it is one of the keys to the secrets of personal magnetism. When you remember that this nerve energy spreads itself beyond the limits of the body, just as does the energy of the brain, then you may begin to see what I am, driving at, in announcing the second pole or phase of personal magnetism, namely the, physical, pole, which, in reality, is the phase of magnetism generated and radiated by the nervous system, particularly by its great centers of plexus. I think that you are now beginning to get the idea, although I have carefully avoided technical scientific terms and have expressed myself in the simplest form.